Hello students, welcome to the course Electromagnetic Engineering. So far we have discussed about coordinate system and one type of coordinate system it is Cartesian coordinate system we have discussed. Today we will discuss cylindrical coordinate system. So why we need a coordinate system? Actually coordinate systems are used are given a way to systematically represent a point in the space. Okay. Now here I have a question for all of you. Just pause the video and try to uh, give the answer or write the answer. Consider the set of locations in your room. Each point has unique identity, but they do not come with names. How can we describe the location if the room, room is circular? How can we describe the location if the room is circular? I will pause the video, try to write your answer. Okay. So, the answer is we can use the descriptions like as our room is a circular room, we here we have we can you we can make an imaginary wall or you could use the height from the floor or the distance from the center of the room up to the that point and the angle between the line from the center through the point and a line from the center through another fixed line fixed point like the door so this is a very good example of cylindrical coordinate system so how we can locate the point in a room which is a, which is a circular in nature so here we have to imagine the wall or the point first then we can use the height from the floor the distance from the center and the angle between a line from the center through the point and a line from the center through another fixed point like the door. This is an example of cylindrical coordinate system. So, here for the star in cylindrical coordinate system, we will take the reference of x, y, z axis. We will use x, y, z axis as the reference axis. Okay. Here, now imagine a hollow vertical cylinder of radius r, which is placed such that its axis of the cylinder coincides to the z axis. Imagine a hollow vertical cylinder with radius r, it is placed such that the axis of cylinder coincides with z axis. So, this is how we have to place the cylindrical surface. It is a vertical cylinder with radius r and its axis is coinciding to the z axis. Okay. So, any point on the cylindrical surface it is at radius r and therefore, this surface is called as r constant surface. Okay. Now, second surface now consider a plane vertical surface of which one edge coincides with the z axis. We can rotate this surface about the z axis and the angle of rotation phi is measured from x z plane. So, this is how we can locate that second surface. It is, uh, it is a vertical surface of which one edge is fixed at z axis and this surface we can rotate along the z axis with angle phi. Okay. And this angle phi is measured from x z plane. And the angle of rotation of angle phi is from 0 degrees to 360 degree. Okay. Intersection of these two surfaces, it will give us a vertical line. But we are interested to locate a point and for this, we need one more surface. And the third surface which we have considered, it is a z constant surface which is parallel to x y plane. So, this is the z constant surface which is parallel to x y plane. So, what are the ranges of all these variables r, phi and z variables? So, r varies from 0 to infinity, phi varies from 0 to 360 degrees and z varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, the point in cylindrical coordinate system. So, this is how all these three surfaces coincides. Okay. So, the 
if r constant surface and z constant surface co inter the intersection of r constant surface and z constant surface it will give it will give us a circle okay intersection of r constant surface and phi constant surface it will give us a straight line okay an intersection of all these th three surfaces it will give us a, a, a point p with the coordinates r phi and z so the point p in cylindrical coordinate system has coordinates r phi and z so the unit vectors in cylindrical coordinate system so the unit vectors in cylindrical coordinate system are ar bar a phi bar and a z bar unit vectors should always be perpendicular to the respective surface and it should be always in the increasing direction okay and therefore as we know we have three constant surfaces in cylindrical coordinate system r constant surface phi constant surface and z constant surface therefore the unit vectors involved in cylindrical coordinate systems are ar bar a phi bar and a z bar okay the directions of ar a phi a z are shown in this diagram you can see this is our unit vector ar this is unit vector a phi and this is unit vector is it okay any vector in cylindrical coordinate system can be written as here we have an example vector p bar is equal to pr ar bar plus p phi a phi bar plus p z a z bar this is the vector p which is represented in cylindrical coordinate system so the differential lengths involved in cylindrical coordinate system here we are trying to this is our point p which we have located okay with coordinates r phi z we are trying to increase all these coordinates by some differential amount okay so if we increase r coordinate with some differential length then the differential length in r direction it will be dr differential length in phi direction you can see here if we increase the angle phi by differential amount d phi it will give us an arc this is our arc Okay. So, the length of this arc it will be equal to r into d phi and therefore differential length in phi direction it is r d phi and differential length in z direction it is d z. So, vector differential length d l bar is equal to d r a r bar plus r d phi a phi bar plus d z a z bar. Magnitude of differential length it is equal to under root of d r square plus r d phi square plus d z square volume of this differential uh, surface the surface we have obtained here this is our differential surface okay so volume of this is equal to product of all the lengths so dr r dr d phi dz this is the volume differential volume in cylindrical coordinate system now we will discuss differential surface area okay so from this diagram we have obtained these three different surfaces okay this is our surface one this is surface two suppose and this is surface three so here surface one can observe which lengths are involved one arc is there and dz is also varying so r d phi and dz these differential lengths are involved that means surface one is r constant surface and the differential surface area for this r constant surface is r d phi into dz and vector differential surface area is r d phi dz into unit vector perpendicular to that surface and as this is the r uh, constant surface unit vector perpendicular to this surface is, is equal to a r bar ok. Surface 2 this is our surface 2 ok so which lengths are involved here yes dz and dr dz and dr so we can say surface 2 is phi constant surface as phi is not varying ok and the differential surface area for this surface 2 it is dr into dz while vector differential surface area is dr into dz into unit vector perpendicular to that surface as this is the phi constant surface unit vector perpendicular to this surface you can see in this diagram it is a phi bar ok and third surface in this third third surface which differential lengths are involved 
dr and rd phi that means this is a z constant surface and therefore differential surface area for the z constant surface is equal to r into dr into d phi and differential vector surface area it will be equal to r into dr into d phi into unit vector perpendicular to the surface as this is the z constant surface unit vector perpendicular to this surface it will be equal to a z bar here it is shown ok and therefore the di differential vector surface area for z constant surface it is r dr d phi a z bar differential volume it is d v is equal to r dr d phi into d z As we have started our discussion with by, cons by taking the reference of x, y, z axis, there should be some relation between Cartesian coordinates and cylindrical coordinates. Okay? And what is that relation? So, what we will do here? We will project point P in x, y plane, project point P in x, y plane and then again project this point Q on x axis and y axis. So, the distance from origin on the point of projection on x axis suppose this point is r and this point of projection is s. This distance will give us x coordinate, this distance will give us y coordinate. Okay? So, the relation this is angle phi and the relation x can be obtained as or o r is equal to o q into cos phi. O r is equal to O q, we can use this triangle, refer this triangle. O r is equal to O q into cos phi, but this O r is nothing but our x distance, O q is r, okay. so x is equal to r cos phi, the relation or if we know r, uh, r phi and z, we can obtain x by using this relation, x is equal to r cos phi. Similarly, to obtain y, we will refer this triangle OQ as this angle is how much? It is 90 minus phi. Okay? And therefore, we can say OS is equal to OQ into cos of 90 minus phi or we can write this as y is equal to R into cos 90 minus phi is sin phi. So, R into sin phi. So, x we are getting it is r cos phi, y we are getting it is r sin phi and z is equal to z. Okay? So, this is how we can obtain x, y, z coordinates if we know r phi and z. Suppose, if we know x, y, z and it is asked us to find out r phi, z, can we find it out? Yes, of course. So, we have this equation, suppose this is equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. So, square and add equation 1 and 2, square and add equation 1 and 2. So, we will get x square plus y square is equal to r square cos square phi plus r square sin square phi. Okay? Or we can write this as r square into sin square phi plus cos square phi. We know the identity, identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay? And therefore, we will get r square is equal to x square plus y square and r is equal to under root of x square plus y square. Okay? Now, we will divide equation 2 by 3. Divide equation 2 by 1. So, y divided by x is equal to r sin phi divided by r cos phi. Okay? So, here we will get tan phi is equal to y by x and therefore, phi is equal to tan inverse of y by x and z is equal to z. So, this is the relation if we know x, y, z coordinates we can find out r phi z. So, thank you.